dog? Yeah, I watched your dog run away from you after you destroyed the Trump I'm sign. To you, asshole. Why the language? It's karma that your dog ran away after you destroyed the Trump sign. Listen, man, I don't have time for your. Well, no apparently. Go suck your fascist dictator's. Apparently, your dog doesn't have time for you because she ran away the first chance she got. You fat bastard. Stop it. Can you explain why you just stole my phone and then I had to chase your fat ass and get it? Fuck off. Fuck off. You just committed strong arm robbery after destroying a Trump sign, you fat Listen, man, I'm looking for my lost dog. Get lost. Lost dog? It ran away from you because you destroyed someone else's property and then stole my phone, you idiot. On the other side of the GW Parkway when your dog ran away. Memorize your license plate, so I'll be calling the police about you running off my dog, you faggot. I ran off your dog? Says the guy that stole my phone? All right, Sean, we just watched that crazy video. Guy looked totally whacked. What just happened right there in Alexandria, Virginia? Well, I was um, on the GW Parkway where it turns into like West Washington Street or what have you. Um, and I was sitting at the light and I saw this deranged fat guy going for a series of Trump signs along the side of the road. So destroying roll, them. Yes. No, I saw, I saw him going for it. I knew it was going to happen. So I rolled my window down and as soon as he started kicking them and going crazy on this inanimate object, um, I yelled, Hey, that's not yours. And he started screaming at me about how I was deranged. And mm -hmm. as he did this, he picked up the sign and was taunting me by like trying to rip the plastic unrippable sign. And the dog that he was walking got out of the collar that was around its neck and took off running at a speed. I've never seen a little tiny dog run in. Mm -hmm. I think the dog didn't like this guy and was looking for a chance to escape. So, he went and ran off after the dog. I flipped a Yui, and then I drove up over the curb and threw some grass, got over to where the sign was, and I fixed it, restored it to its former glory, and then I you know, proceeded to go into Old Town Alexandria where me and my girlfriend saw the fat bastard walking around yelling for his dog. So we actually went up next to him, rolled the window down, and I confronted him about the destruction of the Trump sign, and the dude lost his mind, as you well see. And he came over, and he actually came into the vehicle over top of my girlfriend to grab the phone away from me. And then once he had the phone in his hand and he backed up out of the car, I threw it into park. I got out. I, I ran after him, and he said, here's your phone, here's your phone, here's your phone. And he, he put the phone out like mm. a little girl, covering his face with one hand and sticking his, uh, his arm as far away from his body as he possibly could with my phone to give it back to me. So I got the phone back. And I, I started re-recording and again confronted him about, you know, you know now you stole my phone. And, um, you know, what happened was he was still looking for his dog. Right. And we, you know, we called him out on his bull. He said he was going to call the cops because I ran his dog off when in actuality his dog escaped from his clutches because the dog obviously didn't like this guy. And the funny part about all of it was that um, – you know, we ended up like driving up and down the street looking for his dog afterwards to, to see if we could help the guy. But the dog hit the Potomac River Trail, so the dog is probably long gone. I was going to ask, that was going to be my only other question is, um, you know, quick story, we're going to get out there. Crazy situation, obviously, but do you know whether or not the man ever recovered his dog? No, I don't think he ever recovered his breath because that dude was out of breath from the running that he had to do. And you know, I, I mm -hmm. went up and down a, a series of streets that go along there and asked around, and, and no one had seen the dog come by. So, therefore, it went towards the uh, Pepco power plant uh, in Alexandria that's down there on the water. And uh, we never saw him or the dog again. 
Man, wow. Well, that's crazy. I guess if we have any more uh, developments, we're going to get it out as we speak. And uh, thanks for providing comment on the subject matter. No worries. Have a great day.